Today I'd like to go over some recent updates and additions to my home network. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click that notification icon so you'll be notified of any new content. Last year I did a brief overview of my equipment. Today I want to cover some of the changes and upgrades that have taken place this past year. I'll take you on a quick tour of the equipment such as systems, my network, storage, and a few other miscellaneous upgrades along the way. I've done some individual videos on several of these items and I'll post them in the description in case you want to check them out. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the changes that have been implemented in the office. As my needs have changed over the past year, the focus for me has been on performance. Not only for my systems, but for my network performance. So let's talk about my main system. The main system has seen a couple of upgrades since last year. I upgraded the CPU to an i9-9900K uh, up from an i7-8700K. I increased my RAM from 16 to 32 and I added an ASUS RTX 2070. Now each of these by themselves aren't a huge upgrade but um, you put them in aggregate and they really helped reduce my rendering times, made my video editing a lot smoother and just my general computing um, for all the things that I do, including editing photos and stuff, just work a lot better. The, um, in addition, since I no longer store anything locally, I've added the 10 gigabit network card to increase my network throughput. As for my test system, it's still running the i7700K. It's received a minor RAM upgrade, but the main upgrade has been the addition of the 10 gigabit network. I also added a dedicated QNAP QSW3081C, which is a, a 10 gigabit switch, which has three 10 gigabit switch ports and some and eight 1 gigabit ports. Um, and that's dedicated to handle these two systems as well as plugging in some other peripherals. This kind of allows me to, um, to really simplify my testing and allow to move files back and forth especially from my main system where I do all my video editing. So moving over to my lower rack, I repurposed an old Plex server that I'm now using as a VM. I gave it a new Core i5-8400 CPU and increased the RAM to 32 gigs. The top unit is still running my firewall. Um, it's running Sophos XG and that hasn't really changed for quite a while. Uh, below these systems are two of the four NAS units that I own. My main NAS received an SSD upgrade and now it's running four 500 gig SSD drives in a RAID 5 configuration which I use primarily for video editing or any active projects I may have. This configuration provides me with both speed and some redundancy. As for storage, um, it has 10.9 terabytes of spinning drives and still has two empty slots plus um, 1.34 terabytes of SSD storage. The second unit received primarily a PCI 10 gigabit network card upgrade via PCI card or P PCI Express card. And the storage has basically remained unchanged. It's still sitting at 16.35 terabytes of usable storage. As both units now have 10 gigabit network cards, they are fed directly into my main QNAP 10 gigabit switch to handle all the um, high speed connectivity throughout the house. In my top rack is my QNAP QSW1208C, which is a dedicated 10 gigabit switch that has um, eight combo ports and four SFP plus ports. Um, in the same rack is my is a Netgear 24 port switch and a D-Link 16 port switch and followed by a BB Tech 8 port PoE Plus switch which I've had um, several of those for a couple of years now. This kind of ties the system all together actually on two separate networks so some of those switches are used for separation. To complete the office portion of this um, I just quickly go over some of the miscellaneous upgrades that, that I've done. I've added a second Lumix camera, mostly for talking head type stuff. 
um, two Avermedia Live Gamer Ultras USB capture devices, and I added a Motu M2 audio interface along with a DADS S Mic 2 to complement the existing Heil PR40. So that's pretty, you know, gives me a well-rounded package um, with a lot of flexibility. So we're now here in the family room. The, this room's received a few upgrades. First has been the addition of a streaming HTPC setup. Other than the case, uh, I built the system out of some extra hardware I had laying around. I added this system to support the stay-at-home movement to kind of facilitate online conferencing and training uh, from the family room so we could take advantage of the large 65-inch screen that's in here. I also added an Avermedia Live Gamer capture device so we could use an old DSLR rather than a webcam. The system is pretty basic. It runs a Core i3-8100 with 16 gigs of RAM. I also added one more NAS uh, with 16.35 terabytes of storage. And I also upgraded the original NAS that was out here to uh, four 6 terabyte hard drives for another 16.35 terabytes of storage. And this one's really temporary. It's presently being used as a movie archive backup temporarily to, uh, until I gain confidence in using the Unraid server, which I've been using. Um, to close off the family room, I added another QNAP QSW3081C. It's a dedicated 10 gigabit switch. Um, currently, it's, it's supporting the 10 gigabit NAS, and then I also use it for all the other devices like the Apple TV, the Roku, and the HTPC. Um, in the future, I'll be utilizing that extra 10 gigabit port for something I want to add, which I'm not haven't quite ironed out yet. Okay, moving on to the living room, there's only been a couple of changes here. The main change was to upgrade the dedicated PC that I use for Blue Iris to support my security system. Though I've been running Blue Iris for a long time, um, as I added more cameras, the need for the system to upgrade the system was uh, becoming evident. So I basically upgraded most of the guts of the system and it's now running an i5-8400 with 16 gigs of RAM and that seems to be doing the job. I also added a dedicated 1 gigabit switch um, to handle all the various devices in the entertainment center. As you can see there's quite a bit plugged in. So we have the Shield, we have an Apple TV, um, we have um, the receiver and a few other things that are plugged into here. And that's pretty much it for the living room. The last item that I want to cover is my new Unraid server, which really started out as an experiment and it's turning out to be one of the main storage areas for movies, photos, and some backups. Uh, the system currently has 26 terabytes of usable storage, but I've got some upgrades planned for in the near future to add more storage. Um, currently it runs a Core i5-9400 with 32 gigs of RAM. And for caching, it uses dual 500 gig um, crucial M.2 drives that are housed in a QNAP M.2 M to 3.5 inch SATA adapter, which I'll link to as I've done a video on that as well. And it's set up in a RAID 1 configuration. So far, I've been really pleased with it and it's worked out pretty well. I did have to do a controller upgrade, which again, I've, I've done a separate video on. And I'll link to that in the description. Well, that pretty much wraps up the current changes for my home network for 2020, with more network and system updates planned for this year. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, as I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification icon so you'll be notified of future content. We'll see you on the next video.